If you plan on building tracks for Trials Rising, the Nintendo Switch version might just be the best version. I'm going to explain why in this video. But before I go into details, I wanted to kind of list some improvements or some, some features that we now learned about the Switch version. A lot of people were complaining at the very beginning because the Nintendo Switch does not have analog triggers, which is really important in a Trials game. You want to have some sort of throttle control if you're doing a big hill climb or things like that. And the Nintendo Switch, obviously with no analog triggers, it's like all or nothing. So a lot of people were like, man, this, not, this game is just not gonna work on the Switch. But Red Links did the smart thing and actually mapped the accelerator to the right analog stick. So you, you have full control over your throttle. You can go all the way right to do full or halfway to go halfway. It's, it's a smart move. Uh, it's a smart replacement to having uh, analog triggers. Now it is possible to play Trials without analog control, uh, although it does make it a lot easier for a lot of people, including myself. Uh, there's a lot of uh, old school PC players that still to this day prefer having a keyboard so they can, I guess, do what they used to do back in Trials 1 and Trials 2 on the PC. Uh, but there's no analog input, it's just all or nothing. It's totally digital. But the reason that I'm thinking the Nintendo Switch version might just be the best for building tracks is because it's on the lower end of platforms in terms of raw hardware capabilities. Kind of like the original Xbox One. The Nintendo Switch and the original Xbox One are probably going to be the least capable systems whenever it comes to graphic fidelity. I'm sure it'll look perfectly fine on those systems but it's not gonna be running at a full 4K. Now, what I've seen in Track Central a lot on Trials Fusion is someone will go in a PS4 Pro or PC and just build a beautiful track. It's a track with tons of decoration and it looks great, but, and it runs great too on their systems. But as soon as somebody on the lower end of the platforms, either the original Xbox One or even sometimes the original PS4, there's some major performance, major screen tearing issues, and it just ruins the whole experience. And that's just, uh, it's terrible for anybody who's playing on those platforms. It's great for everybody else. If you have an Xbox One X and a PC and you're playing the game on that, you're probably not gonna run into that problem. But the people on the lower end are definitely going to experience it and it's gonna ruin the experience for your track and it's probably gonna give it a down vote because the, the track is basically unplayable or has some major distracting screen tearing. And that's one of the upsides to building a track on one of the lower end systems, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch, is that if you can optimize your track to where it looks great and it runs perfectly, then you are practically guaranteed that you're not gonna have any trouble whatsoever on the track on any other system. So in a sense, it's almost better to build a track on the lower end platforms. So the Nintendo Switch is great for that purpose. Uh, and the fact that it's totally portable. Uh, I mean, obviously you can plug it into your TV and play it from your couch and build your tracks. But if, there's people in my situation where we don't want to you know, steal the TV and hog the TV from the rest of our family while we spend hours and hours building a track. If, uh, if we were able to just take it with us and build the track wherever we want. You can build it in our bedroom or in the bathroom or at the dining room table. It's just there's no limits with the Nintendo Switch. You can just build it wherever you want and whenever it's convenient and you don't have to hog the TV to do so. And uh, if, it, if your track runs perfectly on the Switch, then there's practically a guarantee that it's gonna run perfectly everywhere else. So in that sense, the Nintendo Switch is the best platform to build tracks on. Now, my only hope is that Red Links can come out with cross-platform Track Central on day one, so that if you build a track on the Switch and then upload it, uh, everybody on all the other platforms can play it with no issues whatsoever. I also hope that they've come up with a solution to kind of give credit to the original builder for their track. So if I upload a track from the Switch, it doesn't show up as rising shared or rising community on the Xbox or the PS4. I, I wish there was a way to incorporate your name somehow, like a universal creation system to where everybody sees the same creator name no matter which platform they're on. So that would be that would be awesome. That's one of the gripes that I have about Fusion. Although cross-platform Track Central is fantastic, I love it. I just wish that the original creator would have their name in the track itself, not just uh, in the description. That's what a lot of uh, a lot of creators end up doing is they just put their name in the description of the track, which is great. But a lot of people don't read those, and sometimes you run out of space and you have to kind of compromise your track description so you can fit your name in there. It's not a big deal. But uh, I, I definitely would love to see some sort of a unified system to where original builders can get credit for their track right from the beginning. And the very last thing I wanted to mention in this video is I launched a Teespring store, which I mentioned in my previous video, but I went ahead and added a new design 
uh, a trials design to my store. And here it is. It's the Don't Worry, I'm Fine, the Fender Grab. It looks great and uh, it's available in multiple colors and I uh, even put it on a coffee mug. So if you are a big coffee drinker and you like trials, then this is a perfect gift to yourself or whomever you would think would like it. So, and it supports me. So any anything you purchase from the Teespring store goes uh, straight to this channel. So anyways, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. What are your thoughts on the whole editor and trials rising situation? I will see you in the next video.